takes responsibility for Washington Redox fake news on social media. An activist group created fake news stories distributed through social media that relayed the Washington Redskins had changed their name to the Washington Redox, tricking many into believing that the club had abandoned the name that is seen as offensive by many. The activists created a logo and placed stories that were identical in layout to ESPN, Bleacher Report and The Washington Post on Facebook and Twitter that seemingly announced the name change. The fake sites even had domain names very similar to those of the actual sites of the news organizations. Our goal with this campaign was to draw attention to reaffirm that there's an overwhelming mountain of evidence that the name is offensive and is harmful to Native American people, Rebecca Nagel, co-director of the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center and one of the organizers of the campaign, told USA Today Sports. What needs to happen is that the conversation must switch from whether the Washington Football Club should keep the name, but rather why are, owner, Dan Snyder, the franchise and the NFL insisting on keeping the name. Redskins senior vice president Tony Willey issued a statement in response to the campaign. This morning, the Redskins organization was made aware of fraudulent websites about our team name. The name of the team is the Washington Redskins and will remain it for the future. Nagel said she hadn't been contacted by lawyers from ESPN, Bleacher Report or The Washington Post about potential trademark violations. This campaign had been in the works since August and one of the first things organizers inquired about was whether such a campaign was legal, according to Nagel. Since it's a parody, we are able to do what we did under fair use, Nagel said. It'd be different if we tried to sell football jerseys and attempted to make money off of it. That's not allowed under trademark law, but this is satire. As part of the campaign, organizers also launched their own website Wednesday. The organizers have a news conference scheduled for Thursday, which will take place at the Redskins' former home, RFK Stadium in Washington. When there's talk about changing mascots or team names, people always ask if there aren't more serious problems we should all focus on, said Nagel, a member of the Cherokee Nation. I think the public, at a deep level, don't think Native Americans still exist or that we are real people. They think we are all dead and gone and only exist in black and white photos from the 1800s. Follow Perez on Twitter at NFL Week 15 Power Rankings.